थ्री टू वन गो The electric commuter scene is ramping up big time in our country and with many new brands coming into this segment it's easy to feel spoiled for choice and somewhat confused but if what you want is not a scooter and a real bike frame something at an affordable price well it narrows down to a couple few choices and these two are the most popular in town This is the Talk Motors Kratos R and the Revolt RV400. Now while they might be categorized in the same segment they are far from similar. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Drivers Up. My name is Bhavneet Vaswani and I'm here with these two quirky motorcycles to tell you what is the difference and which one should be the pick for you. All to talk about in this episode of Upshift. Given that the Kratos R is the fresher bike in this segment, the eye tends to fall on the Talk bike first with its muscular tank and sporty design cues. The bike looks definitely much more purposeful than the RV right here, which let's be honest, looks a little bit out of fashion nowadays with this tacky motor fairing and a swing arm that looks like it's meant for a toy bike. It definitely does not feel like a real full-size bike. However, The Talk Motors does feel like a full-size motorcycle that gives you that satisfaction that you're not riding something tiny or a compromise and that could be a deal maker for many customers. The heat of the battle starts to get hotter when we start talking about what these bikes are going to be known for and that's their tech. Both these bikes come with mobile connectivity through a phone app that include features like geofencing, anti-theft and live charge updates. What's not so futuristic about both the bikes is this white and black display which looks rather old. However, the Talk bike has you covered. The Talk app has a unique live stream feature that gets all of your live navigation, your odometer reading and all of the necessities that you need while riding live on your phone which makes your phone the dashboard you always wanted. Oh, and how can I forget? The Torque car comes with a feature that the Revolt does not and that is a reverse gear feature that makes it a dream to come out of tight spaces. And the Torque eclipses the Revolt in many other areas too. Yes, the less of the weight the better the efficiency and performance, but the Revolt is so light that it feels like you aren't riding anything. The Revolt weighs in at 108 kg compared to the Kratos's 140 kg. On paper, the RV400 seems to have the upper hand on suspension with a fancy upside down fork set up in front and a mono shock in the rear. But when it comes to riding, it feels disconnected and actually quite bumpy. The Kratos might have a very basic setup but it works like a charm and gives the rider a good feel of the road while maintaining comfort. The braking duty is handled by 267 mm discs up front and 220 mm discs at the rear for the Kratos and 240 mm setup in front and the rear for the RV400. Which one is better? Well, both seem to be pretty similar in terms of stopping power. Where the Kratos shines yet again is in the seat height department with its 785 mm seat height being much more approachable for many shorter riders. The Revolt RV400 comes with a 3000 watt mid-drive motor paired to a 3.24 kilowatt hour battery that makes it good for 85 km an hour and it is claimed to get 150 km of range depending on the conditions you ride it on. Yes, it does a pretty good job at going from A to B, but don't expect any adrenaline rush from this motorcycle like you'd expect from a full-size bike. For that, you pick the Talk Kratos R with a 4500 watt axial flux motor that is paired to a 4 kilowatt hour battery, and it's good for 105 kilometers an hour. And this axial flux motor is fantastic when you actually want to twist the throttle. This is the same technology that Mercedes-Benz themselves use in their electric vehicles in order to make a compact car with a lot of torque and power and that's what makes this torque car a scalpel. But do all these fancy words like axial flux convert into the real world because at the end of it the Revolt is still almost 40 kg lighter than the Kratos. Well, there's only one way to find out. 3 2 1 go.
and the final results speak for themselves. The Kratos R is almost two seconds faster than the RV400 in a straight line, which is a massive difference in the world of drag racing. Plus, this data has been verified by a draggy, and the Kratos beats the RV in almost each and every measurable metric. Also, the Kratos achieved a trap speed of 89 km per hour at the end of the quarter mile, whilst the RV400 was able to do only 86 km per hour. Which goes to show that the Kratos doesn't lose oomph even at higher speeds and has a much greater bandwidth of abilities. And the story doesn't end there for the Kratos, it is far superior in the Benz as well. With its rich history in the world of motorsport, the Kratos feels sharp and agile through the corners where the Revolt, due to its lack of weight and feel, well, feels disconnected. Also, the Kratos has the Revolt beat in almost every metric with a higher top speed, 105 compared to 85 km an hour, and a bigger battery capacity, 4 kWh in the Kratos compared to the RV400's 3.24 kWh. And coming to the batteries, the Kratos is much easier to charge too. With a simple, easy to access charging socket where you would usually find the fuel lid, the Kratos can get up to a full charge in around 4-5 to five hours. The Revolt is much more complex with multiple ways to charge with a port near the foot pegs which wasn't working when we tried it, so we had to remove the whole battery and then connect it to the charger. Now yes, this in theory should be more convenient if your residence doesn't allow you to install plug points in your parking, but removing the battery and installing it again is a hassle. Trust us. Oh, and one more thing. If you're wondering why the display of the RV400 wasn't working during the drag race, well, after a downpour mysteriously, the display just shut off. But the bike was still on. So you could ride it, but you just couldn't see how fast you were going or how much charge you have left. At the end of the day, while both bikes offer an eco-friendly alternative to all the dinosaur-powered mills in our market, there is only one clear winner. The one that inculcates the good stuff from a real motorcycle and adds them to an electric package. And that is the talk Kratos R for me, with oodles of fun to play around and enough tech to impress your mates. The Revolt, on the other hand, is a bike that is better offered to someone with no dynamic riding in mind. This is a complete A to B commuter bike with no panache to it whatsoever. There is a clear winner in my head, and that is, of course, the Talk Kratos R, but that's because you're watching the Drivers Hub, and we prefer performance. What I want to know is what do you guys think of one of these two bikes, and which one would you pick? Do let us know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. It's been your boy Bhavneet. I'll see you guys in the next